I went to Daiso today. Got a couple of things. I got um I finally got the makeup brush cleaner again. Um I got some hand cream. They're so cute. They had adventure time ones for a time, but um they didn't they didn't have them anymore when I was there. But this one's kiwi fruit. Ooh, that smells good. Okay, it doesn't smell like kiwi. It doesn't. Ah, it doesn't really smell like kiwi fruit. Not really, but but I mean, it smells good. And it's so small, so it's good for my bag, which is pretty small. I got kiwi fruit, pineapple, and sweet orange. I got some perfume. So, sorry, these ones aren't from Daiso. This is from Miniso. This is an EDT, so it's rose and green tea perfume. Miniso has really good perfumes and fragrances. Um, most of them are EDT, but they smell really good. They don't stay on you long, but I have quite a few of them and they smell really nice. When it comes to perfume, I generally go for really fruity, playful fragrances. I like my Ari by Ariana Grande, and um, I have her Cloud one, and I forgot which other one I have of hers. <laughs> but the point is, I really like um, light, like really fruity fruity smells like i think this is definitely lighter than the ones i would usually get like this is like very like light and airy and it's like 13 bucks or less i'm not sure this one's from daiso I've got some room socks. Meep. With a smile. I got the same thing in yellow. Nice and warm. I got some milky. I really like milk. Um, I first tried them when I went to Japan and I think I got them from 7-Eleven and they are really nice. Next from Daiso I got Calpis lollies. Um, I love Calpis, I love Milkis, so naturally I would like the Calpis uh, candy. These are really good. Um, I ran into them when I was at I believe Shinjuku Station, but it might have been Shibuya. Um, I forgot. But I went into one of the um, little stores and I saw they had these and I bought like everything they had there, which was like 10. <laughs> Next up, I got a Lotte candy, which says Ume, but I... They're gum sticks. That's what it says. I'm unsure of that, but they smell good. I got three of these little incense sticks. I've been meaning to try incense. I actually bought like those 
regular long sized incense but I haven't used it because I didn't know how to use it like I don't have an incense incense stand and I know you can put it in sand or um, you can like kind of build a makeshift thing to put the incense in but um, I just never got around to makeshifting something uh, so I thought these were interesting because apparently it's the stick incense with a stand so I was super curious I'm gonna open it now I got green tea honoka and citron 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 so I don't know what honoka is but Yeah, so you see, it comes like this. I don't know if you can, I don't know if that's going to focus the register. But, um. I'm assuming this is the little stand. And the sticks. Is, it goes in there? Thank you for coming to my Daiso and Mini So TED Talk. Uh, look forward to the next presentation. This is the um, green tea incense. Today is another day off, so I'm playing Far Cry 3, having some coffee. Uh, Far Cry 3, uh, I've played Far Cry 4, completed it, that was my first experience of Far Cry, and it was super good, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it, um, so I heard good things about 3, I would go to 5, but I just, I feel like it's too expensive for me right now, so that's why I went backwards, because I didn't hear good things about 3, so... Um, here I am. So far, it's the concept is uh, very similar to four, uh, but I believe from what I heard, what attracts people to the Far Cry series is the story, and four really did get me. So I really hope three is just as good. I've just checked into Pagoda Resort and Spa Hotel for two nights on my two days off and you know whilst I do appreciate like old old school stuff I feel like this place is really outdated for how much you're paying per night um, I mainly got it for the bath, which is, you know, pretty cool. Um, but then it's got this really outdated feel to it, which normally, you know, sometimes that can be an aesthetic, but I feel like it's a bit too too old school like they need to do some updating so I've just turned off this lamp normally it would be on because I went to plug in my charger um, the bed is not super comfy and um, it kind of smells funny like not bad per se but you know if the sheets were clean they wouldn't smell like anything or they would smell good like like fresh laundry um let's turn another light so they have a cupboard here which i mean i mean i don't have a problem with because you know I don't care if that's updated or not. And then... mm -hmm. 
I like where the TV is situated because a lot of the times hotels don't um, put like the TV seeable from the bed or they'll put it sideways which kind of irritates me so you know this is good um outside they said that it was it might be too dark now yeah they said that it was gonna be you know like river view but you, know, you can't see because of the glare but really it's just the freeway view so that's not really a view at all. Um, the couch. Not comfy. <laughs> um, that is really old cupboard. That's a bit dark. Well, everything. <coughs> everything is just dark. Like, the vibes are hella dark. I might be being critical, but like... I feel like... Yeah, like, that's not really clean. Uh, at all. Like, you know, it would appear like I'm being, like, really critical. Like, that- look at that. But... Like, that is a full-on smudge. Like, it just feels really old. Like, in an antique way. But, like, not in a good way. You know what I mean? Like, how long has this velvet carpet been here? I feel like if you pay... Like, this much. You know, overseas. You know, you get much better. Maybe I'm comparing it too harshly, but again, like I've been to hotels around Perth as well, and uh, Eastern States, and you know, I feel like some of the places are old, but they've tried to up update things. So you know that that's that's pretty much it. One picture that I have a problem with. <laughs> Is this, which is right off the bed. Again, this glare. But let me put put it up. Like, what is going on there? <laughs> it's freaky. Um. Aside from that, in the lobby area. I, I like what's going on. It's like they've got like vases everywhere. I'm into that. I'm into that. It's like they're trying to be um, like antique Asian, maybe. Um, so you know that that's that's cool. I like what they're going with there. Um, but we're gonna have two nights here. Uh, we've got we've got high tea tomorrow morning, which I'm very excited for. Um, at chapels on Watley or Watley and so I think that's gonna be really fun and um, I feel like something creepy is gonna happen to me in this place um, but for now I'm just gonna probably have a nap and try to relax Okay, we are gonna go get some snacks. It is really creepy outside. Full disclaimer, um, it's eerily quiet, but then there's like this breeze coming through. And it's, it's, it's creepy. So, um, I'll bring along my GoPro. Okay. Uh, let's go, I guess.
Okay, well. I got some free Pepsi and um, lemonade. Nice. Um, yes, yeah, so it is creepy outside. I hope you can see what I'm talking about. I don't know whether, you know, that's just, I don't know, it is hotels in general, but really eerie. What is it? <laughs> Did you see those paintings too? They were just faces. Weird, creepy faces. Not a fan. He's in a completely different class than we are. It's not even close. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, but I had to ask. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't being a chicken. So the Earth's valiant defenders aren't going. I got this new diffuser from Kmart for 20 bucks. Uh, it wasn't exactly the one that I wanted. The one that I wanted was, I think, a little bit more expensive, but um, it's only online. So I saw this one in person and I thought, oh my god, I'm gonna get it. Uh, then I've got a few uh, essential oils. And I'm really liking the smell of this bergamot one. Bergamot? I'm guessing the tea salad. So I know at first it was incense that I was into, but I got sick of it. Like, I, I overdid it um, on the incense. Like this one doesn't have mood lighting, which I think the other one did have like different lighting settings, but you know, I mean, still cool. I don't know if you can see it, but it's um puffing away. It smells so nice. I'm really into it. 